everyone. This is Victor Lund, CEO of RE Technology. I have uh, with me today my guest, Franklin, excuse me, Franklin Stouffer. Um, he is with Delta Media Group, and they're one of the many companies uh, that created a showing platform in the wake of Zillow's acquisition of Showing Time. Uh, local showings has uh, been proven to be a pretty widely accepted product in the industry, but they are still uh, out there seeking new partnerships with MLSs. Um, along with brokerages and selective markets uh, who can uh, may want to consider this up op this opportunity um, to replace existing opportunities for showings in the market. As you guys know, showing information and showing data is a critical component of real estate agents, especially in today's hot real estate market. So uh, welcome, Franklin. Glad to have you here with us. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to sit down with you guys. I think this is our uh, sixth or seventh webinar in the last couple of years. So I'm excited to get into it. Let's go. All right. So uh, I'm Franklin Stouffer. I'm the vice president of sales here at Delta Media Group. And what we're going to be talking about today is local showings, which is our complete standalone showing solution that is available in the marketplace today. It's been implemented in various boards across the country. And so what I'm excited to talk about is a little bit about why we built local showings, what makes Delta Media Group and local showings different than other offerings on the marketplace, and then do just a hands-on walkthrough as we go. Uh, for those of you that are joining us live, please feel free to jump in and ask questions. I'm keeping an eye on the chat, so I'm happy to take breaks and answer any questions that come up as we go. That being said, I always lead with what makes Delta different? And there are thousands of technology companies that focus in real estate. And something that I, I'm always prideful to be able to lead with is that we are family owned and operated at Delta. So we Franklin, have I got a butt in here because I was trying to brainstorm this morning before the webinar and I was... I was just imagining and I, I, I could not come up with a single company in real estate technology that's been around as long as Delta Media that, you know, that hasn't changed hands, hasn't been sold, same ownership for literally since what, 1990 what? 94. Since 1994. So a little trivia question for those of you on. If you know of a technology company that existed back in 1994 that's continuing to operate, please put it in the chat. You might get a surprise from me. <laughs> that is a good trivia question because if, if there is one, I definitely need to know because you'll see on the slide here, we think we're the longest standing all-in-one provider. I, I think you might be, yeah. I'm, like, I'm going to go drill through RE technology and look at every company and think about it for a minute. <laughs> yes, yes. We, uh, you'll find uh, we have a magazine article from 94 in Beaverton, Oregon. We put together one of the very first websites in the country powered by MLS data with photos. So we've been in this industry for a very long time. Uh, we are very proud of our independence. It helps drive us to build technology that is relevant to the brokerages and, and all agents that use our, our different tech tools. And why we lead with this is because we actually have a guarantee that we put in our contracts that we will remain family owned and operated. We call it our no sell guarantee. So why many companies are looking for alternative showing solutions because of the showing time acquisition, um, we want all of our partners to have peace of mind when you're using a Delta Media Group product that you know we are gonna remain firmly independent. Mike has children, a succession plan in place. Um, we're not looking to go raise capital or, or by any means sell our company. Um, we are going to keep doing what we've done for over two and a half decades, which is deliver stellar technology tools and products for all of the people that use Delta Media Group technology. So it was really, uh, as you said, Victor, at the in, <laughs> when the sharing time acquisition became public, we had already had an established set of technology tools that were in the marketplace for decades. And we already had relationships with over 90% of the MLS boards across the country, pulling and aggregating their data for our website products and clients. So it was a pretty easy decision for us to say, you know what, we've already got a technology step stack that's about 85% feature complete for what you'd wanna see in a showing solution. So we had decided that we were gonna build local showings based off of the DeltaNet architecture and be able to provide a standalone service for an MLS, as you said, for key brokerages and unique markets to be able to offer a standalone showing solution that has that no sell guarantee. We wanted to be able to provide a frictionless transition for the actual users, the agents that use the showing solution, the, the showing software. We didn't want them to lose any of the features or things that they were used to having. And we didn't want it to be cost prohibitive. So we were building this as an offering back to the industry that we've worked in for so long saying, if you want an alternative, where you control the data, you don't have to worry about it being shared 
with your competition, then Delta Media Group has a product local showings that you can get at the same price or a better value than you're already paying for your existing showing solution. You won't lose anything by making a migration to us. And we have a guarantee that we're going to keep this product independent and we're not going to sell it. And it was those things that were stirring in us that led to us creating and developing local showings. So what this product is, is a standalone application that is available in the iOS and Android app stores today. You can go download it. Um, it's also a web-based software. So if you don't want to download it on your phone, you just want to use it on a computer, you can do that as well. And it's designed to help you easily manage all of your showings, leave feedback, build driving tours, all in one place. And so this is where we'll spend most of our time on the call today is rather than go through a slide talking through all the different features that's included in local showings, I'm much more of a uh, show, don't tell type of presenter. So we'll jump straight into the software itself. And I'm gonna take a second just to make mention that while this is a desktop product, the vast majority of agents and users of the system are gonna be using it on their phone. They're gonna download the mobile app and they're gonna pull it out to manage their different requests or to leave feedback after they've completed the showing. And so what you're seeing on the screen right now is exactly what the local showings app would look like if you were using an iPhone XR. Um, the way that the software works is it's one-to-one -one identical on desktop as well as on mobile. So you have no loss in functionality regardless of where you are using local showings. So just to be able to quickly show you, I can see my approved, canceled, declined, and pending showings. I can see my listings, my contacts, I can build driving tours. It's also synchronized with my calendar. So I can see all of the upcoming showings and events that are on my schedule. And I can manage everything in the app the exact same way I could on desktop. But for the sake of the presentation, we're gonna keep it in the desktop view to make it a lot easier to see how these different tools come together and function. And so what I'm gonna be using for our walkthrough today we are authenticated, we're logged in as Margot Teeter. She is a real estate agent with Old Colony Realtors out of the Kanawha Valley MLS. And so we're looking at actual live data that is on her system today. At the top of the page, you will always persistently see the current status of all of your showing requests. What's approved, what's canceled, any declined, any that are pending. And you've got a breakdown of the requests that you've made as well as the ones that have been made on your properties followed by a calendar showing me when all of my different showing activity is going to be on each of the different properties that I've been making requests on. So from anywhere in the system, I could quickly get a list of all of my approved showings. I could see a list if I've been declined for showings uh, requests that I've made. I could see why were those uh, requests declined. So you could just click on the button and it's gonna give you an overview of all of these different types of categories of showing status, very straightforward. Now, from within the software, you can also request showings. So something that's a little unique with local showings is that number one, you can make and schedule the request right through the app or how the majority of users are scheduling showings and local showings today is they're going straight through the MLS level as they always have. They find their properties at the MLS. There's a little icon that's a local showings icon. They click on that and it gives you a pop-up modal where you could schedule your showing directly through the MLS level. So we are already integrated with Black Knight, with Flex and with other vendors so that you've just got a little icon available. You tap on it from the MLS level, you can make your showing requests right through the uh, software as you always have. We didn't wanna disrupt your workflow. But if you are in the app and you wanted to be able to easily find and schedule showings on different properties, you can come in to the new showing button. It'll let you do a search of any of the properties that are within the MLS. I can see here's a listing 1701 Stonehenge. If I say, maybe I'm interested in showing that property, I can click on the new showing button. And this is gonna take you into a page where you're actually making the showing request itself. So I could see the photos of this property as well as the stats. So, you know, MLS number, bed, bass, square footage, it's price. And then I've got an availability calendar. So I'm only able to request showings on specific time slots that are currently open on this listing. So if I wanted to schedule a showing, for example, on Saturday, I could see that there's an opening here at 6.30. So we're gonna go ahead and select that time slot. Here, it's gonna take me into a confirm appointment page where I can see the date, I can see the time that I selected, how long do I want that showing to be. If I've got contacts within local showings, maybe I'm gonna show this property to Charles, who's one of the buyers in my system. I can type in his name, that way he gets all the notifications on if the appointment is approved, he'll get a reminder before the, notific or before the appointment. So by tying it to a buyer contact, this will automatically give them notifications. And if I'm good with this request, I can hit save. 
and that's going to submit the showing request, which now gives me the ability to live chat directly with the listing agent as well. So if I had any questions about the property, if I was approved to show it and needed to come in and ask questions, I can actually live chat directly with the listing agent and ask any questions that I may have as it relates to that property. Additionally, if you are familiar with uh, a feature of showing time, it was called showing cart. We have a very similar feature built into local showings that's called showing queue. So if you want to schedule multiple showing appointments at one time and you don't wanna go one by one by one, you could simply come in and click the add to queue button. So if I see a couple of listings that I think might be interesting, I can click that add to queue button and that has now created a showing queue. If you click on the showing queue, it's gonna take you into a page where I can see my calendar. So I already know what days I've got booked up. So it looks like my Saturday is already full. So maybe we're gonna to look to request these showing appointments on Sunday. And maybe for these appointments, I wanna show all of these properties to Anthony, who is another buyer in my system. So I can see I have selected Sunday and this is gonna work similar to if you've ever reserved a table on open table, where I'm only going to have times to select from where there is availability to show this pro these properties. So I've got the three listings selected. I can see this first listing, I can show at 10 a.m. There's an open slot. So we'll book that for 30 minutes. Uh, 1701 Stonehenge has no availability before 2 p.m. So I actually can't select any times other than the ones that are currently available. So we'll go ahead and book that two o'clock slot. And then this final property, 44 Quarry Ridge, has no available times on the day that I selected. So I can't book this one for a showing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that from the list because there's no available times to show that property. So now I've got the two listings selected. I can actually build a preview, which is gonna show me where these two listings are. So if I wanted to make sure I could drive to each of these two properties, I can actually generate a driving tour, which is gonna take me into an interactive page where I can set where is my starting point? So I could enter my house. I'm just gonna enter Charleston here. Charleston, West Virginia is where these properties are located. So it's gonna set my default starting point and I can see the listings that I wanna be uh, showing. So I've got an appointment at 10, I've got one at two. It's gonna give me my driving directions, showing me where I need to go to be able to make these two appointments. And I can also share this link with any of my potential buyers that I'm gonna be showing it to. So as you build interactive driving tours, you can have it for yourself to be able to know the directions and where you're going to go to get to these properties. But you can also share this tour with anybody, giving them this link, which will give them access to follow along and follow the same route that you do as you drive to these different properties. And we'll talk more about driving tours in a few moments. Next, we've got listings. So this page here is very easy to understand. It's basically split into two sections. If you're a listing agent, the first thing you're going to see is all of your active listings being pulled in from the MLS. So I can see that this agent, Margo, has a ton of active properties right now. So on each of the listings that she's managing, she can see the number of requests that are pending, that have been approved, that have been declined for showings on this listing. I can also see feedback that's been left on the property. And I can also control how this listing appears when people are looking to schedule showings through local showings, which I'll dig into in just one moment. Below the section that's about my listings, you've got a section for listings that you're showing. So if you're working with buyers and you've been showing properties, you'll have a section right on this page showing you all the properties that you've already shown to your buyers over the last two weeks. So if I showed a property a couple of weeks ago, I can quickly come into listings I'm showing and I can see the number of times that I've shown that property. I can see the date that I last showed it. And I can also quickly reschedule a new showing on this property. So if there's one that hit the market that you seem to be showing to a lot of your clients, you can simply come back in here, click the new showing button, and you can schedule another appointment on that property without needing to go search for it at the MLS. All right, let's dig into the page where you're actually managing how this listing is going to perform inside of local showings. So here we're going to look again at 1701 Stonehenge Road, and I see this little gear icon. So I'm going to tap on that. This takes me to the page where I determine how to showing requests function on this listing. So the first thing I can see on the left-hand side is the availability calendar. So these are the time slots every day where this listing is available to be shown. So I can see on Friday and Saturday, we're open to showing that property a little bit later. So I can actually just drag and drop and adjust right here within the availability calendar. How many time slots do I wanna have open? Sundays, we've got a limited amount of time to show it. So it's only available between 1 and 5 p.m. 
If I wanted to extend or change those hours, it's as easy as just tapping on those boxes if you are on mobile or on desktop, you can just click and drag your mouse and it'll fill in the time slots. So it's very easy to be able to adjust the availability times that a property can be shown. We also have a feature built in that allows you to allow overlapping showings. So if you wanna allow multiple people to show the property at the same time, I can just check the box for allowing overlapping showings, meaning that multiple people can be showing that property at the same time. This is a feature that can be turned on or off based off of the board's preferences. So I know some markets still aren't allowing overlapping showings. So that feature would just be turned off by default. So you can determine if this is even an option that the agents have. Same thing goes for auto approving requests. So we have a feature that I can click on this button to say, hey, if there's not another appointment already booked in that time slot, go ahead and automatically approve it because I don't wanna have to be manually approving all of these different showing of, uh, appointment requests. So if you've got auto approve turned on, it's just going to accept that appointment as soon as somebody says they wanna see the property. So I can determine on a per listing basis if I'm automatically approving, if I'm manually approving. And we also have a feature where the seller can also be getting these notifications to approve or decline showing appointment requests as well. Another thing that we have built into the availability calendar is special overrides. So let's say you know that there's gonna be a day where you can't have any showings because there's either gonna be inspections, there's gonna be construction work done. For some reason, you can't have anybody in the house. I can come in and add a special override and just say it is not available for showings. And I can specify either a date or I can do a range and say on these days, the listing is just not available for showing. This way you can build in advance and not have to worry about declining all of these different requests that may come in when it's not going to be available for showing. You'll also notice you can affiliate contacts with a listing. So here, this property is actually listed by Anthony Marino. And he prefers to be notified with updates on the property via text message. So I can designate who the seller is right on this page. And I can also designate should the seller or should the uh, showing appointment requests, should those go to just me, just the sellers or to both me, the listing agent and to the seller can approve or decline these requests. And you can have multiple contacts receiving updates on the listing. On the right-hand side, you'll find a shareable link. So this is something where every listing that exists within local showings actually has its own dedicated URL that the agent could share if they wanted to give the public the ability to see this property and make showing requests as well. So here you're gonna see, this is 1701 Stonehenge Road. This is a single property website that's been created for this listing. I could see all of the photos. I could see all the details about this property. And again, you're seeing that availability calendar right here on this page. So if I, if Margot had shared this on her Facebook page, this link, any of her customers could come here. They could see when the property is available to be shown and they could say, hey, I'd like to see that property at 5 p.m. I wanna see it for 30 minutes and I can see all the information that I can fill out here to make a showing appointment. So this is actually a form that you can make available to the public to make appointments that you could then approve or decline and gather that information. So again, this is a unique single property website that exists for every listing within local showings. You could also set your showing instructions so this is only gonna be visible after an agent has been approved to show the property. Things like lockbox combinations or showing instructions, those are gonna be filled out here. I can also notify people who have already shown the property or are scheduled to show the property. I have a way to send bulk communications to those different two groups of agents, those that have shown it and those that are going to show it. And what a use case of this would be is for example, I could send a mass notice saying, Seller has accepted an offer. And I wanna notify this to all agents who have an upcoming showing on this house scheduled. And I could des designate, do I wanna leave the appointments in place or do I wanna cancel all of the upcoming appointments and send this notification with it? Another example would be listing has a new price. And I can send this notification to everybody that has already shown the property. So I can send a bulk notification to all the people that have already looked at it, letting them know that there's now a new reduced price on this property. So you can send bulk communications to agents that have seen it or are going to show it. And the final thing that we've got on this page is a built-in questionnaire. So by default, all of your listings can have pre-built survey questions that'll just be general questions asked for all the properties you may be managing. But on a per listing basis, I could come in and add unique questions that may be specific to that property. So here are some generic questions. Are you already pre-approved for a mortgage? Um, do you think that there's anything in this property that stood out as needing work? Do you have any other general feedback you'd like to share? 
But on this listing, we have a unique question. What do you think of the overall landscaping of this property? So I can determine in this nice, easy to use drag and drop interface, is this gonna be the first question asked? Is it going to be the last question we ask? I can change the ordering. I can change what are the answers that I can select from. So did you love it? Is the landscaping just okay? Does it need work? Do you think it's unimportant? So I can actually decide, is this question multiple choice? Is it a mandatory required question? Is it just a text box? They can fill in whatever they want. So you can pre-build your questions, have those available. And when the showing agent has completed a showing, they'll get a notification through the local showings app asking them to leave feedback on the property. If they don't answer that survey right then and there, they'll also get another notification the next day asking them to leave feedback on their showing from yesterday. So we do have a notification system set up to encourage the agents to leave feedback on the different properties they're showing. And again, one last thing I wanted to show on this listings page is that I, as a listing agent, have the ability to quickly come into this page and see all of the activity and details that are happening for all of my listings. So I can see all the listings that have activity with showings that are happening, any that have had feedback left. For example, on 1701 Stonehenge, it's been shown several times. So I can click on that feedback button it's going to take me into a page where I can see an overview of all the feedback that's been left on the property. So there's been three people that have seen it. I can see the dates and times that they saw the property, and I can go through on a per visitor basis and view the feedback that was left from those particular showings. Next, we have contacts. There's actually several ways that we can get contacts into local showings. The easiest way is just to click, you have a new customer that you want to have in the system. So I could enter, for example, my contact information. I could designate my cell phone number and I could say I'm a current buyer or I'm a uh, past buyer. So I can create myself as a contact within this account. Additionally, you have the ability of designating if the customer is a former client or if they are an active buyer or an active seller. So if they are an active buyer, I can see Charles here as a buyer contact. If I click on his profile, this is gonna show me all of Charles contact information. I can add notes to his account. And I can see a history of all the showing activity that Charles has had. So I can see requests that he has pending, any that were declined, any appointments that he's already had approved in properties he's seen. So this gives me just a real quick digest of all the activity that's happening with each of my contacts. In addition to manually adding customers, you can import a CSV file. So if you've got a database file of contacts already, you can import that into uh, local showings and have those contacts segmented into buyer or seller contacts. The third way that you can get contacts into the system varies based off of the vendor. So for example, I believe it's with Flex, we have an ability to just import MLS contacts. So if you've already got a database handled at the MLS level, we can actually import those contacts directly into local showings with the click of a button. And we're looking at building more of those types of integrations with Black Knight, with Matrix, and with the other vendors that we're integrating with. Next, we've got our driving tours. And this is designed to be a feature that allows me to quickly build a driving tour for either a tour that I wanna build where I can set my steps so I can manually build a tour or I can do something called an auto tour, which means with the click of a button, I can actually build a driving tour for all of the showings that I'm gonna be having with a particular contact. So Charles here is one of my buyers. So if I said build an auto tour for Charles, it's actually going to build me a dynamic tour with all of the properties that I'm scheduled to show to Charles on a specific day. So you could do things like automatically build the tour, or if I go into a pre-existing tour, I can see all of the steps that are factored in. So here we're gonna be showing a property at 11 a.m. We're gonna have a break for lunch. We have a, a showing at 1245, and then a showing at three o'clock. And it's showing me dynamically on the Google map, where are all the stops along this driving tour? If I wanted to add a stop to the tour, I can simply say, let's add to the tour. And I can see all of the other properties that I have available to quickly plug into the driving tour for Charles, or I could manually add an address. For example, if we wanted to add a stop at Panera Bread, I can go ahead and just type in Panera. It's gonna find that address and I can designate how long of a stop this should be in the tour. As I mentioned earlier, it also builds driving directions. So I can see step-by-step step all the turns and how long it's gonna take for me to get to each one of these properties. And you also can share those links with anybody. The final couple of things you've got built in are your preferences. So I can designate what my preferred contact method is, app notifications, email, text messages, and we have built-in help articles inside of local showings as well to help you get step-by-step -step understanding on how the app actually functions and how to do the different things inside of it. 
I'm going to jump back into the keynote and then we'll take all the questions that have been coming in through the chat. Give me just a second. We'll, we'll screen share back into the keynote here. So a question that commonly comes up is call center support. Um, you know, is this something that we're offering as well? So we talked a little bit about who Delta is at the beginning of this presentation. Um, but one thing that I didn't mention is that we are completely based in Northeast Ohio. So we don't outsource anything that we do, all of our development, we have an in-house call center, all of our employees, for the most part, we have two exceptions that are in uh, Louisiana, but we are almost entirely based in Northeast Ohio. And so what that means is that the call center staff um, does have the ability of being offered to either an MLS board or to um, a particular brokerage. If you wanna be able to have a number to call into where our call center team can accept an inbound call, they can make outbound calls, they can confirm appointments, they'll plug it into the software for you. This is something that's offered, but it's typically an extra expense. So if you're looking to offer a call center support for an entire board, um, that is certainly something that we do offer. We just base it based off of the number of active listings and appointments that we expect to be made in any given month. So we would work on getting you an estimate. If you wanna know exact pricing, just uh, reach out to us for a consultation. As far as the migration process goes, we've made this pretty darn turnkey. So I could tell you, for example, we've been working with Space Coast Association of Realtors down in Florida uh, as one of the most recent examples of companies we're working on onboarding, where within days of them signing up for local showings, they were able to get hands-on in a de development environment and see their live data active within the software, all their agents already imported, all their listing data. The good news about working with Delta is we already have all of the data. Um, so we can onboard new clients to local showings in as little as two weeks or less. So it can be as fast or as long of a process as you want to make it. But the good news is there's no heavy lifting because Delta's already got the listing data, the agent data. We're already integrated at the vendor level with most of the large vendors. So it is a very turnkey, quick and easy process to get up and running with local showings. Uh, we would also do live trainings via webinar for the administrators as well as the agents that will be using the tools. And these are all recorded and made available on our YouTube channel. And we'll even help create marketing handouts and materials about why you're making the switch to local showings and why the agent should be excited about using these new tools and products. So with that being said, let me take a look. I've got a couple of questions here. Um, and you're probably, you, you should win an award for the best, most clearly articulated demo that we've ever done here on our <laughs> technology. You jump in and you go for it, man. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> I'm sure everybody, uh, you know, is it, you know, there's a lot of information to take in uh, in a short period of time. But I'm really grateful for that. And uh, yeah, let's let's jump into the questions. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I uh, <laughs> I often warn people that are coming into a consultation with me that it's going to feel a little bit like a densely packed college lecture. So I do, <laughs> <laughs> I do my best to to be as articulate as possible. Um, so one of the first questions was, do you have API integrations with other showing solutions? And the answer to that is yes. So we actually built a showing API um, in all of the technology within the Delta environment. We've got APIs for listings, for rosters, for data feeds. Um, we play well with others. So inside of our technology stack, we've already got over a hundred third parties integrated into our uh, solution. So we do have the ability to integrate with any other showing provider and share showing stats or pulling data, send showing request data. Yes, we can. And I think uh, the real estate standards organization is, has a work group that's focused on that too. Are you guys participating in that? Uh, we did participate in some of the early um, meetings. I don't know if our CEO, Mike, is still participating in them, but I know we did initially start. Um, yeah. We were intending to be at Rezo um, when they met a couple of months back. And I know we ended up having to miss that conference, but we have been involved with them. And I know that we were involved in those early conversations. Yeah, I know you guys are pretty agile. So whatever whatever gets worked out and you've submitted your schema for it, I'm, I'm sure you'll be able to adjust as necessary to work with others. That's great. Yes, absolutely. Um, something else that was asked was, does the calendar integrate with the agent's Google Calendar or Outlook Calendar? And I'm happy to say the answer to that is also yes. Um, so with Outlook, it's very easy. So if you are a user that has um, Office 365 or you're using Outlook, um, the Delta Net and local showings both synchronize with that calendar. So maybe events that you've got scheduled there will also appear on your phone's calendar. If you are a Google user, there is an integration that allows the calendar to synchronize, but it is specifically for Google workforce users. So you have to have a paid Google account for that integration to synchronize. 
Um, Google doesn't, they used to, but they pulled the support a couple of years ago. They don't make it easy to share that calendar information if the user is not a paid Google client. Um, something else that was asked, uh, can showings be scheduled for properties that are not listed in the MLS, like a new home? Um, so we do have a system that's built into the DeltaNet um, called pocket listings. So this allows you to enter a property and you would be able to get showings scheduled on it through our pocket listing system, which would allow you to have properties that aren't entered at the MLS visible, uh, but you would have to manually load that listing into local showings for that to be an option. Almost all of the data we've got on the system is powered based off us pulling the MLS data feeds. So 99.9% .9 of the listings will have to be at the MLS, but we do have our pocket listing system to support those instances where you may wanna load a listing and have people schedule showings on it, but it's not active at the MLS level. So there is a way of doing that. Okay. Uh, and then the final question here was, do you have a lockbox integration with any lockbox providers? So that's an interesting question because we've been actually working on these lockbox integrations since May of April or May of last year when we first started building local showings. And at first, uh, the answer was yes, we'll be able to have these integrations with like a Supra or a Century Lock. Um, however, they have slowed down pretty significantly on working on with us on integrations with them as they've built their own showing solutions. So we're working on it. We don't have any live today. Um, we're hopeful that we'll be able to get lockbox integrations into local showings, but it's mostly reliant on those third parties being willing to work with us. So there's conversations happening. There's actually been initial dev work done, um, I believe with Supra. So there's work in progress, but it is not finalized for lockbox integrations yet, though we hope to have them. Terrific. And that's it for questions so far. If it anybody is. has any others, I'd be happy to take them. Don't see any hands raised. No more Q and A. So uh, with that, uh, Franklin, I want to thank you very much for coming here today and sharing the the great news about what Delta's done and this really important tool set that that agents need to be successful. I'm sure that uh, all of our MLS and association attendees on the call today appreciate it, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see you again on a future RE Techinar. Yes, absolutely. And if you want to learn more about local showings, you can go to localshowings.com or deltagroup.com. And either of those places will have contact forms where you can schedule a consultation with me if you'd like to learn more in a one-on-one. -on -one. Terrific. And we'll send a recording of this to everybody who attended today. Thank you very much. Perfect. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye.